Hi guys, welcome back to TR's Tarot Talk 1111. Today is uh, Tuesday, March 12th. I'm doing the normal reading. We're doing the Build a Bridge. And I know I always say I'm going to go fast and that I'm incapable of doing it. However, this is my situation. My router and modem is outdated. It's taking forever to upload my videos. My content's not getting out there. This moon energy and uh, Mercury retrograde is kicking my ass. I put my car in a ditch yesterday. I think it was yesterday. It was the night before. Well, it was the night before, but I had it towed yesterday. Put my car in a ditch. Uh, my videos are all getting screwed up because of the stupid modem problem. So today I'm going to go and buy a new modem. Uh, router combo and I'm upgrading my internet speeds. I was going to wait to do that until I moved out on my own. However, I had a setback also. Thank you, Mercury Retrograde. I was waiting for income tax refund and found out that the money was taken by the uh, student loan people for my husband's student loan debt that he did not pay. So, um, it looks like getting an apartment might be shelved just for a little while longer. I'm not letting anything, I don't care what Mercury retrograde does, I'm not letting anything keep me back from my beautiful new life, new beginning that I know is coming for me. So, moving on, enough about me. And during this intro, I do want to start saying I am grateful, grateful, grateful for you guys. I wouldn't be able to go get this modem, uh, combo if it wasn't for the private readings that you guys have booked with me. Um, I've had a donation to the channel and all of this I've put into a account on PayPal specifically for the channel. I was going to get some new decks but I think I'm just going to spend it on a new modem and a new router so that we can get our content uploaded much faster. And then I can play more. I can do more spreads. I can get more out there. So thank you, thank you, thank you. I am so grateful for you being here. Thank you for being my love tribe. Thank you for hitting the like button. Thank you for sharing. Thank you for all of the beautiful, beautiful messages that you leave me. It makes my day. It's the first thing I do when I wake up in the morning, 7 o'clock in the morning, is I click on to see what you guys thought about the videos that I've put up and and what comments you've made and um i very rarely get any negative comments well i don't on youtube i have on my facebook page from youtube viewers they've come to my facebook business page and you know there's some naysayer and naysayers that have posted some reviews that probably they don't really need to post <laughs> Um, because they don't know me, they've never gotten a reading from me, and, you know, it's just Mercury Retrograde. I'm just going to chalk it up to, you know, uh, the people that need me, I'm here for. And the people that don't, they can just be negative all they want and move on. So thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm going to start every video with a gratitude to you guys for being my love tribe and for supporting me and my channel and recognizing that the work that I do is for all of us. It's not just for me. Okay, so let's get moving. What is this overall energy, the moon energy that we are under? New moon in Capricorn. Your hard work is paying off. And do you know that a train comes through every time I'm going to read from the book for you guys or give you information? New moon in Capricorn. I'll look it up while the train goes by. How's that? A drink of my tea. <sighs> Need a new coffee mug. I broke my favorite coffee mug. Bones me out. All right. Your hard work is paying off. New moon in Capricorn. First and foremost, this card suggests a new start for you professionally. Whatever has been going on in your working life, this card heralds the start of a new and improved work cycle. If you're unhappy in your current job, this is the time to either renegotiate your position or look for something new. Whatever your question, whether work-related or otherwise, a new plan and strategy is called for. 
you need to take a look at the long term and think about where you want to be in 12 months or even five years time. That will inform your best course of action now. So think seriously about it. Drawing this card suggests it's time for you to be ambitious about whatever it is that you want to achieve. Make a proper plan and execute it well. You need to be more disciplined to reach your goal. Hard work will make your dreams a reality. A very good omen for study or teaching. Don't be too controlling and avoid anyone who is controlling you. Capricorn is a sign of ambition, building, and hard work. The energy is solid and rigid. The new moon in Capricorn is a powerful lunation that comes toward the end of each year and marks arguably the best moment annually to make a list of your hopes, dreams, and ambitions and intentions for the year ahead. Pulling this card at any time suggests that with planning and dis discipline, you can achieve whatever you set your mind to. Okay, so I'm going to tell you what I'm getting from this. I have been just recently tapping into these negative energies of, I got the hiccups now, of stagnation, um, just blocks. I'm just hearing blocks, you know, we're not, we're not focusing. It's probably this mercury retrograde and all this moon energy, but you know, we were on track, we were doing really good and now it kind of feels like um, things weren't moving fast enough for us. We weren't getting our outcome that we had been dreaming of. And we, we might be needing to refocus our intentions on what it is we want to bring in for this new year. And uh, we'll take a look at the reading for the masculine and feminine. But maybe today is a day of working on your prosperity more so than your romantic life. But... That remains to be seen. So let's look at what we've got. We've got the masculine's headspace. Trust. This is trust in reverse. I don't know if it was the day before yesterday we got the trust in the upright. So, you know, this Mercury retrograde, we're going to notice. Let's just see how it plays out. But we're going to notice a little bit of wavering, a little bit of feeling defeated, a little bit of taking a step back and wondering whether or not this is ever going to manifest. And if it does, you know, we're, we're feeling tired. Like, what more work can I possibly do than I have? So in his headspace, you know, trust is an issue. But this is also the uh, king, queen, page, knight. This is the knight of water. Okay, this is, in the upright, it would be an offer coming in of love. But because it's in the reverse, like I said, Mercury retrograde, it's probably um, that in his headspace, he's having a hard time making any kind of an offer. Uh, and like I said, I wouldn't be a bit surprised if it's because of this Mercury retrograde. Uh, we're going to be, during this retrograde, working more on on the healing, the taking a step back, uh, rehashing, looking over the past, because retrograde's all about the past, you know? So, okay, we're going to see what's going on in the feminine's mind today. Morality. <laughs> this is the queen of... No, I'm sorry. Yes, it is. It is the queen of swords in reverse. In this deck, it's called morality. It's basically feeling like uh, old traditions, old ways of being. You know, the way you're grown and raised by your parents, it's traditions. You know, morality is all about what do you believe is right for you. Whether it's a spiritual, moral or a family moral, it doesn't matter. But also, because this is an oracle deck, um, the reversal of this as the Queen of Swords, this is the feminine just not having a very good time of it. And she's on her guard, and she's probably a little bit testy. Um, Queen of Swords in reverse, it's wanting clarity, but it's, it's 
not a good time. <laughs> not a good time to approach this person. The feminine is probably not going to receive any kind of bullshit messages at this time. If it's not something solid that you can sink your teeth into, she's probably just not for it. Like I said, I think it's going to be a couple of weeks of um, reassessment. I wouldn't be a bit surprised if we don't see that Seven of Pentacles, Seven of Cups. It's that kind of energy I'm feeling for this retrograde period. All right, so what's going on in the home where he lives? Oh, the Six of Cups. Yeah, he's nostalgic. I told you, Mercury retrograde really does bring up the past for you to reevaluate, to think about, contemplate, wonder if, you know, do you want those cycles again? Did you learn anything from those cycles? Time to move on. The Six of Cups is also my soulmate card. It's also, you know, daydreaming about the person you love. And it's somebody that you already know from your past. And it is called the dream because it's all about nostalgia and daydreaming. So in his home, you know, he might be listening to old music. He might be looking at photo albums. Um, it, it's looking at the loves in his life. And I don't want to say love because of where it is. It's in the home space. I would, I'm kind of picking up that this is more about the collective, like his entire life. The relationships he's been through, the people he's given his heart to, and the circumstances surrounding that. So it's definitely going to include the Divine Feminine, but it's not limited to just thinking about her. Okay, this is like a life review, looking at all the different times in his life that he has given his heart to somebody, and how did that turn out for him. All right. A lot of us do the nostalgia thing during Mercury retrograde. What's going on in her home? Nine of Swords. She's tired. She's stressed. She's feeling sad. We've had that Nine of Swords coming up a lot for both of them. In and out, week after week, huh? But we know what the Nine of Swords is all about. It's all about your thoughts. Change your thoughts, change your life. You know? And I could take that advice myself. I know that in my home as a Divine Feminine, I'm having setbacks that are annoying as hell. And, you know, the last thing I want right now is more setbacks, more stress, more things to worry about. So I'm going to be meditating. I'm going to be doing the higher vibrational stuff. Um, yesterday was a day I literally soaked in the tub for two or three hours because I just was that broken. Um, but today I am up on my feet again. i got things going on. I've got things to do. I'm feeling proactive. And you know what? If the universe didn't want to give me an income tax refund to get me on my feet, then it's time for me to step into my power and make all this shit happen myself. We can't let the universe knock us down. Why? Because that's part of our lesson. The universe loves us. God loves us. Our angels love us. Our love tribe loves us. However, I believe that we are meant to learn during this time how to become autonomous, how to not be codependent on others, and to really learn how to pull up our big girl panties and take care of ourselves. Because how are we ever going to be in a relationship with anybody if we're not capable of being in a healthy relationship with ourselves, So, that's my plan for the day. How about you ladies? In your home, what's stressful? What's keeping you awake at night? You know, those kind of things. Make a list. We're still manifesting, guys. The whole year of 2019, you have not missed anything. I know that four cups keep showing up and it, it's like missing an opportunity, but we're not missing nothing, guys. This is a process. It's going to take time. You're going to hit bumps in the road. You're going to have logs fall over. You're going to have things happen. And it's a test of your will and determination. How bad do you want this? And if you do, then what will you do? What are you willing to do? What are you willing to manifest to make this happen? All right, change your mind, change your life. 
Let's see what's going on in the masculine's heart today. Ooh, consciousness. This is the Ace of Swords. I don't know why they call it. You know, this Oracle deck kind of blows my mind. The way they, they change up the meanings of these cards so much. You know? But consciousness is clarity, is it not? In this deck, it's a cloud card, though. There's not a whole lot of clarity that comes with clouds. But um, in his heart space, he's just wanting clarity. He wants the clouds to be removed. He wants his third eye to be bright and clear. And and he, he just wants to be able to tap back into his inner knowing. You see, um, the divine masculine and feminine are, are connected psychically. Some of you guys might have been experiencing dreams lately where your divine masculine or feminine is visiting you in your dreams. You might be hatching plans. You might be making love. You might be uh, just, you know, conversing, reassuring each other. But in his heart space, he's feeling a little disconnect. Um, it's almost like intuition is being blocked. And all he really wants in his heart space is to be, is to have clarity, is to have that inner knowing back again. Um, he's not sure, he's just not sure what's going on. And I'm not sure that the feminines know what's going on either. Let's take a gander. Ah. Yeah, the feminines got the three of cups in reverse. So, you know, she's feeling like... Um, like there's no hope for reconciliation, that the celebration of getting together with her masculine and finally celebrating this union is just seems so far away and so unattainable. Okay, but I'm here to just reassure us all that this is, you know, energies change. I could probably do another reading in the evening and the energy might have even changed completely. So... You know, let's just breathe in and breathe out and know that there is going to be a celebration one day. Okay? <laughs> now, moving on to the um, hopes and fears. Nine of Cups, that's exactly <laughs> hopes and fears. So, you know, he's wishing. He wants his wish fulfillment. He wants his Nine of Cups. But he's kind of, and every time I see this card, Spirit brings me that song. Today I don't feel like doing anything, but ba -da -ba -ba. I just want to lay in my bed. Don't feel like picking up my phone, so leave a message at the tone. Yeah, that's what, how he feels. He's like, eh, not today. I, I made my wish. I'm going to let the universe take care of it because today I don't feel like doing anything. All right. What is going on in her hopes and fears? Nine of Wands. Yeah, she's not giving up. She's holding on. She's standing her ground. She's still at the gate. But it's literally exhausting her. She's got the Nine of Swords. And she's got the Nine of Wands. Okay. So I'm hearing a step back because yesterday... I didn't get a chance to upload a video for the daily yesterday, but I did do it. It's just my modem wouldn't work, so I never got it to you. And I just deleted it because I just, I don't know, I was frustrated and angry and I just, blah. So I deleted it. You guys didn't get a message yesterday and I'm sorry. However, I did do it and there were 10, 10, 10s everywhere, okay? So yesterday it was like the completion of a cycle, but today I feel like two steps forward, three steps back. We are now officially in Mercury retrograde. So, um, yeah, everybody's just taking a step backward. We went from the tens back to the nines. So what is our masculine? I asked, what steps will he take today toward union, <laughs> if any? And we've got this, today I don't feel like doing anything. So let's see. Ooh, justice. Fair and just decisions. Do what you know is right and stand up for your beliefs. So yeah, I mean, I specifically asked, what steps will he take?
support his feminine. We got the justice card. And, you know, that could manifest in so many different ways. It could be divorce. It could be going to court for his divorce. It could be thinking. I'm, he I'm hearing thinking. It's just thinking about how to balance the scales, you know. Today is a day of reflection. What do I do? What do I do? I need to balance these scales. I need to make this right. I need to make it fair. All right, let's see what the feminine. Feminine, ooh, life experience. <laughs> She's got the tower. Holy shit. Well, I know I had a tower moment yesterday. Better not be having another one today. That's all I got to say. But this is a significant life event, a powerful revelation that leads to deep change. Time to spread your wings. Yeah, ladies, you'll have to te or message me down below in the comments if you have a tower moment. I had a tower moment yesterday, and I'm probably in the wake of it today. I mean, $7,000 is a lot of money to just have it go bam, gone. And, you know, I know I could go injured spouse and change it all. But I didn't have any earned income last year that was on the books. I did my readings and my expos and I didn't claim it because uh, it was a chaotic year and I just didn't keep track of it. This year I've got to keep track of it so I've got income shown on the books. So, I, you know, I took a, took a pill for that one. That one was a big dump. All right, so let's see what... Uh, Spirit has for messages about how you guys should proceed. All right, we got the orphaned card. This is a biggie, guys. A lot of us are struggling with this, uh, masculine and feminine, because in we've because it's a divine union. Um. And like I said, these aren't all twin flames. I know I keep forgetting to say that because I am on the twin flame journey. But this is all about divine relationships. The ones that come into your life to make changes and to help you grow and to catalyze you forward in your path. So this is whoever's on your heart and mind that you know is a soulmate. Okay? That's all the prerequisite you need for this reading is that it's a soulmate doesn't have to be twin flame. I read from that because I'm on that journey. But, you know, this is any relationship with any soulmate that you are coming into union with. So we've got orphaned and in many lifetimes, not just this lifetime, but in many lifetimes, the masculine and feminine have taken turns being the bad guy. And one of the big, 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 karmic life lessons that we're supposed to be learning this time around is to deal with our abandonment issues. And it's a five. I've been getting a lot of fives lately. Not so much today though, huh? Alright, so then we've got next message in a bottle. That's communication. But it's communication that comes to you in a strange way. This is not communication that's direct. It's not like meeting a person face to face. It's not a phone call. It's not direct text. This is by um, telepathic means. Perhaps you're getting messages from your counterpart telepathically. It could also be um, <clears throat> um, like perhaps you'll, you'll hear from a friend of a friend of a friend, that kind of situation you know, gossip, uh, but it's it's attaining some kind of knowledge, some kind of a message about the situation that is non-conventional. Okay, then we have chaos and conflict. Right there is that um, tower moment. It's also the number 3-3, three, three, and we just had the 3-3-3 three, three, three gateway. And if you don't know what that means, that, that's basically March is the third month. 
we had the third month, the third day, and if you add up 2019 and reduce it to a single number, it is a three also. It's a number 12 and two plus one is three. So we had the three, 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 which did kind of bring a little chaos and conflict for me at least. But this is, you know, unmasking. This is learning to, because this, this zebra, okay, which it's funny because the, the masculine and feminine is the yin and yang, the black and white. So it's, it's a zebra that has been painted many different colors. You know, it looks like it, it was once upon a time painted as a, giraffe? Kind of looks like giraffe. Giraffe or perhaps a cow. <laughs> I don't know. But it's not what it was meant to be, okay? And this is like a defrag. <laughs> You're defragging, okay? You're unveiling the mask. The mask is coming off. Then we have regeneration, which is a 10. Okay, it's a healing card of heal healing, excuse me. Um, it could represent, just let me look real quick. I think it's the Ten of Wands, or, uh, yeah, Ten of Wands is what I think. Or, or that kind of energy. You know, it's feeling burdened. It's a needing a release, needing a healing, needing to regenerate. It also could be, um, I'm just hearing healing. A healing needs to happen. And then you've got the Divine coming in to give you a leg up. So that's telling me that we need a little help from the divine to get where we need to go. We're going to get a leg up. It could show up in our lives as unexpected money or a friend that offers a suggestion or um, gives you hope of some sort, helps you out. It's, it's literally something coming into your life that's going to give you a leg up. And that's a good card, okay? So what's the overall lesson for today? Oh, we have the Four of Swords in reverse. That's nice. That's nice. Because in the reverse position, it means that um, the healing is going to happen, but it's not going to take as long. Uh, sometimes reversals are just slow-moving energy, in my opinion. And so this was a healing that took a while. It took a while. And, and it's it's taking time. But it's happening. It's really happening. We've got two nines at the end of each of their readings today. Masculine has the nine of cups for hopes and fears. Or fear. Hopes or fears. She has the nine of wands. So she's not giving up and he's not working on it. <laughs> Alright. I told you we are going to do this quick. So let's get you your oracle cards. Uh, we have a postcard from Spirit, Colette Baron reed it says, Dearest you, selfless giving is an elixir so sweet and life-giving and amazing that it should be customary for everyday living. Right now, generosity is being asked of you. Let go of a debt, release an obligation, or do a solid kindness to someone for no other reason than an exercise of your heart. You will be surprised how quickly... A generous heart is repaid. We know it often doesn't happen in the immediate exchange, so temper your expectations. Know that life has an uncanny way of sending miracles seemingly unrelated to your kindness, yet interconnected in a magical way. The more you act from generosity, the bigger your heart grows and the more love and abundance you will experience. We also know that someone could be entering your life with a very generous offer for you. Take it and trust that you are worthy and deserving of it. You have to receive, not just give. We love you so much over here. That's the leg up, guys. 
I really do feel like a friend or a family member or somebody is going to come forward and help. And that's why this says, we know that someone could be entering your life with a generous offer. Take it and trust you're worthy and deserving of it. And be willing to receive as well as give. All right. Your next one is trust your intuition. The masculine's finding that hard today. <laughs> it's time to stop seeking advice from others and go inside instead. You know what's best for your body, mind, and spirit. Sit in meditation. Walk in the woods. Ask yourself what you need and then be willing to listen. Tune in to your inner guidance. When you get a, re a gut reaction, honor it. You have the answer and it's safe to trust yourself. Everything you need is already within you. I don't know if my friend Michelle is watching. Michelle gave me a reading last night and that was exactly what she told me. She said, everything you need is already inside of you. And I know that, but it's a hard one sometimes to put into practice. So I love you guys. Once again, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for being in my life. Thank you for allowing me to come into your home and to um, share my intuition and my insights with you. I hope they resonate. If you liked your reading, hit the thumbs up. Um, if Mercury Retrograde is kicking your ass, leave me a comment. I might make me feel better to know I'm not the only person going through all these setbacks. But um, stand your ground, guys. Yesterday I was very wounded from all of this, and I really... I cried, I buried my head, I, you know, I'm a double cancer. I seriously went within my shell yesterday. And um, I have to tell you, I'm really trying to get all of my content uploaded and I'm having trouble. So if you have no videos for a day or two, try to understand today I'm going to buy new everything and that should fix the problem. But if it doesn't, I am not far away and I, you can reach me by email um, I'm just having a hard time getting my content up and I'm going to go today and try and take care of that. So don't freak out if you miss me for a day or so. Hopefully that will not be the case, but if it is, know that my heart is with you and I will be back as soon as humanly possible. Okay, I love you, love and light, and hopefully we will have a video. Um, I, when I get all my shit tonight, if it works properly... I'm just going to spend the evening doing readings and uploading them because it took so long before I could only do maybe one or two a day. And that took forever. But now, if I upgrade everything, hopefully I can do several a day. And that would make me happy because I would really like to get my channel up and running and do more spreads for people that aren't on the Twin Flame journey. Okay? Or the, the um, Soulmate Reconnection. All right, I love you guys, and I will hopefully see you tomorrow, maybe even tonight. Keep an eye out. Love and light.